Today we're going to read Thumbelina. This version is retold and illustrated by Fred Crump Jr. Back in the Once Upon a Time days, there lived a little old lady named Miss Maud. One day, a peddler woman knocked at Miss Maud's door and asked for a cup of cool water. In return for her kindness, the peddler gave Miss Maud a flower seed. She planted the seed in the pot. The following morning, a little plant was growing in the pot. It had a bright pink bud. Miss Maud touched the bud, and it uncurled into a beautiful blossom. And there, inside the flower, stood a tiny maiden about as big as your thumb. Miss Maud named the little lady Thumbelina. She sewed her some tiny clothes and made her a bed from a clamshell. Thumbelina was a pleasant companion. She could tell funny stories and she could dance. And when she sang, it sounded like silver bells and nightingales. One night, a frog heard Thumbelina singing and hopped up to the window. It was love at first sight. He grabbed Thumbelina and fled into the darkness. Poor Thumbelina was too frightened to cry out. The frog hippity hopped to a pond and put her on a lily pad. He told his mother he had found a wife. Mama Frog was not pleased. She pointed out that a frog's wife should have a long sticky tongue for catching bugs. And she whispered to him in case he hadn't noticed that Thumbelina was not green. And what would the neighbors in the pond think? So the thoughtless frog swam off and left Thumbelina on the lily pad. She tried to be brave, but she was a very tiny maiden, and it was a very big pond. Then a kindly old fish saw that she was stranded, and he chewed off the stem of the lily pad, and the butterfly dropped her grass stem. Then, while she held tightly to one end, he pulled her lily pad to the bank. <laughs> 